Hey friends, this is Bidhan. Welcome you to my channel. Today we have a problem from June 2011, question number 61. It says, Consider the transition of liquid water to steam as water boils at a temperature of 100 degrees Celsius under a pressure of one atmosphere. Which one of the following quantities does not change discontinuously at the transition? Gives free energy, internal energy, entropy and specific volume so this problem talks about a phase transfer a phase change from water to steam at constant temperature of 100 degrees celsius why constant because we know when phase changes the temperature remains constant and we know that 100 degrees celsius water changes into 100 degrees celsius steam and it is also under constant pressure of one atmosphere so here we may suppose that the container is open to the atmosphere and atmosphere is always exerting a force of one atmosphere throughout the process so which one does not change discontinuously at the transition and the answer is pretty simple one gives free energy it doesn't change discontinuously because this is the first order phase transition now let me show you here water is changing into steam at constant temperature and constant pressure And we can understand from our knowledge that this is the first order phase transition. First order phase transition or phase transfer. So water to steam changing is the first order phase transition. And we know that when it is first order phase transition that in that process entropy changes discontinuously entropy changes discontinuously and we also know that in first order phase transition volume also changes discontinuously now changing discontinuously refers to the graph of entropy versus temperature always remember that it means to say that if we draw a graph of entropy versus temperature where temperature is given by the x-axis then it will show you the discontinuous change this is the transition point line transition point so always remember that whenever you see changing discontinuously it means to say that if you have a graph of entropy versus temperature and temperature must be in the x-axis then you will see that graph so here the same thing if it said that volume changes discontinuously then you can understand from your knowledge that actually it is a graph of volume versus temperature where it will show a discontinuous change like this okay now the first option says that whether gives free energy changes discontinuously or not so we will find out whether it changes or not so we don't need to find out in our last problem it was similar problem similar to this the very last problem that we just did is similar to this and there we saw that gives free energy g that depends on pressure and volume sorry temperature and pressure temperature 
pressure and temperature now since gives free energy does not depend any one of entropy or volume and since entropy changes discontinuously volume changes discontinuously and g doesn't depend on either entropy or volume so it doesn't change discontinuously it doesn't change discontinuously you need to remember this discontinuously and again what is the meaning of discontinuously doesn't change discontinuously it means if you draw a graph of g versus temperature then the graph will not show a discontinuous change it's like this so there is no discontinuity it is going in a continuous manner so this is the matter now the second option says about internal energy and we saw in our last video that internal energy u is a function of s and v entropy and volume now since entropy changes discontinuously so internal energy will change discontinuously And again, changing discontinuously means if we have a graph of U versus temperature, then the graph will show us a discontinuous change. Okay, but I am not writing down the graph now. I am not drawing it. Let us see the third option. Entropy. We already know it that entropy changes discontinuously. So, S changes discontinuously. And the fourth option is specific volume. Specific volume, if we have a substance, then the volume of the substance divided by the mass of the substance this ratio is called the specific volume and you can see that specific volume depends on the volume and we know that volume changes discontinuously so if volume changes discontinuously specific volume also changes discontinuously changes discontinuously so we can see that only one gives free energy doesn't change discontinuously and that is why one is the answer thank you